you are welcome to Kajas Alma Farm once again. Uh, we are going to talk about ear tagging in pig and under, under tagging we are going to talk about identification of pigs, uh, when to tag pigs, uh, growth rate tracing, uh, market access, uh, breed selection uh, and uh, we are going also to see disease management and how you can get a pig pass when transporting your pig. Uh, this is the very important area we usually forget at the farm and uh, we need uh, some equipment to use when we are doing ear tagging. Uh, we need priors, uh, tags and and monitoring of individual animals within the farm and for accurate uh, and for stock check. Tagging usually takes place uh, when goats enter the breeding herd or when the souls lose their tags. Uh, and here, uh, to those souls that have lost their tags, we need to retag them again, uh, but with the original identification. Uh, if I can't identify, uh, the, the, the so you need to issue out a new number. Uh, remember, a unique number should identify uh, different individuals within uh, the farm. identifying the animals uh, when each pig's identification is marked and date of birth is recorded uh, calculating the age of the pig becomes easy because uh, you have the, the details so calculating the age of the pig at any stage of its life becomes easy uh, another benefit we get here uh, it enables lifetime traceability of livestock uh, and lifetime traceability of livestock uh, improves product integrity and uh, uh, and market access, uh, especially for export market. Identifying the animals also helps us uh, when selecting replacement breeding stock uh, from within uh, the herd. Uh, here, you remember, you, you know, we, we consider uh, age. And if we have those details about age, date of birth, uh, so we, we, we get the real uh, pigs to keep at the farm as, uh, as breeds. Uh, identification also helps us uh, to reveal, uh, reveal the strengths and weaknesses uh, within the farm. Uh, remember, when you have uh, records, uh, you, will trace, uh, you will trace the growth rate and uh, you will be having a record book hope you understand whether your farm is doing well or not doing well so it helps us reveal the strength and weaknesses uh, within the management of the farm uh, identification also is good uh, at the farm because it helps the management of uh, disease and chemical uh, rescue issues uh, remember here 
when you to move a pig, you need a, a pig pad. And you, to get that pig pad, you need to be with those records uh, that will help you get that. So it's very, very important to always have those records and identification as a farm. Tagging your pigs will help you to trace them, uh, to know that maybe they've stolen this one from the farm. But if you don't have those taggings, uh, it will be difficult for you to manage even the workers at the farm because you're not sure of uh, the numbers you have at the farm. Another important thing here, uh, you need to get uh, unique tags or different tags. If you're to use numbers, you, you have to use different numbers because if you bring uh, matching numbers, they may, they, may, uh, they may confuse you during that time of tracing. Uh, so that's why we use unique numbers to every individual at the farm. Uh, another thing we can talk about, maybe when you're calculating the average average growth rate at the farm, uh, here you get live weight of the of the pig uh, by its age in day. 